when we think about intersectionality, we think about an intersection or a T-junction, a place where two roads cross over. In my case, it's where race crosses over with disability. And they, so in other words, they intersect. And so when we talk about the practicalities of that, often if, as a black man, it's often talked about in the black community, your parents say that you have to work two or three times as hard as your white counterparts. But in the dyslexic, dyslexic, autistic community, we are often told that we have to work harder as well to, to get to where we need to be. So if we think about the compound effect of both both of those realities, I then have to work maybe two to the three times as hard as your neurotypical white male. If we look at the realities of intersectionality, a non-disabled white person, again, these statistics are from um, the Department of Work and Patrons, a non-disabled white person, the employment rate is 83%. But when they have a disability, the employment rate is 52%. But if we look at black people, non-disabled person is 71%. But if, when we think about disability, it's 44%. The the employment rate for a black disabled person in this country in 2020 is 44%. That's really low. Now, disability comes in all shapes and sizes, but the statistics still remains the same. 